And let me ask you this though. That's great. That's great context there and those differences, but what about on the court, the D three Salisbury team players versus the D one Corpus Christi players? What difference did you see physically? Size and athleticism. That's pretty much it then when it comes down to it, right? Size and athleticism in terms of playing style. Like the one thing that I knew for me, I'm a weird, you know, I'm a, I'm a strong guy. Right. And I was pretty athletic. But mentally, I wasn't ready to play at that stage. But when I got older, I was definitely ready. Like, I couldn't fit with them athletically. Um, but in terms of, like, I think in some levels, the difference between a kid going Division three and a kid going Division one, and some kids need to take this and hear this, like, the right way, not the wrong way. There's a difference in height. I'm a 6'4 guy, and I'm really effective, but I'm probably going to take the 6'8 guy. Because I have, because on a nightly basis, a six eight guy has he doesn't have to work as hard as the six four guy, and so mm-hmm. there's anomalies. There's guys who are six four and they're you know they're phenomenal. Don't you know? Don't don't misquote me, but I think that's the biggest difference. Like there's a five nine point guard who's really good and dynamic, but there's a six two point guard who's maybe not as dynamic, but is a safer bet. And I think that happens a lot of times with the differences in that level. Now, when we're talking high major, it's definitely different. Division three from high major, it's a big difference. But from the low major level, it's not sometimes just a difference in size. Um, Sometimes, in some ways, one more thing. You have a defined playing style. You have a defined role. And a lot of good basketball players, especially the division three level, are tweeners. They don't have a defined role. They're between a two and a three. And we can't say you're a shooting guard or we can't say you're a small forward. Sometimes height is a reason for that. But you get what I'm saying? Like, you're a combo guard. Well, at the Division I level, I know this guy is a point guard and I can trust that he can play that position, right? And so sometimes – the and and basketball is evolving and changing. But back then, that that was one of the things that I saw. Like, the guy who's a point guard, like, he's a comfortable point guard versus when we go play – a division two school, that guy across from us might be just as talented, but he doesn't have a defined role. So these are the little things that kind of separate you sometimes. 